hello my dear viewers welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss one problem which is related with a dependent source in which we need to determine voltage vx and power absorbed by one ampere current source so before going to discuss this problem i request you all to please subscribe my channel for latest update press bell icon okay so let's find vx and power absorbed by one current okay so see this is a circuit in which two vx is a dependent source and vx is here okay due to this we are determining this vx and one ampere current source and eight ampere current source are there okay so we need to determine this voltage source vx and again power absorbed by one ampere current source here okay so let's let's find current direction and their coefficients okay so see this here one ampere current is going okay so let's this is a i1 okay then this will be 1 minus i1 okay now second here i1 is going from this i1 8 ampere is this going this direction okay so this will be i1 minus 8 ampere okay now there here 1 minus i1 1 minus i1 is coming here okay and again plus i1 minus 8 okay is coming here not i1 minus i net here 8 ampere is coming okay this will be 8 ampere this is not going to anything okay then 1 plus 8 9 minus i1 okay this will be current from this register okay so our direction of current will be like this 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 again this okay and we will apply kvl in this loop to find vx okay so apply kvl apply kvl in this circuit we get here minus sign hence it will be plus 2 vx okay then it will come to here minus 2 9 minus i1 okay 9 minus i1 then again it will come to here here we have vx then we will take vx why positive because negative sign is there okay again this will go to this and again current direction is this side hence we will take it as positive sign okay is equal to zero now solve 2vx minus 18 plus 2i1 plus bx plus 8i1 is equal to zero again we have 2vx plus 2vx bx 3vx minus 18 plus this and this 10 i1 is equal to 0 but bx is equal to we can see that current i1 minus 8 ampere is coming in this way and positive so vx will be 5 i1 minus 8 ampere okay this will be vx okay we will put it in this equation and we will get our required equation okay so 3 5 i1 minus 8 18 10 i1 is equal to 0 15 i1 515 multiplied by 120 18 
10 i1 is equal to 0 again it will be 15 10 25 i1 okay and this becomes 138 but due to negative sign it becomes 138 another side okay so we have five point fifty two ampere. Okay. Now Vx is equal to five y one minus eight. We have already studied this five I one five point fifty two minus eight. It becomes it becomes 5.52 minus 8 multiply by 5 it becomes 12.4 okay two point forty eight minus minus twelve point four volt it becomes Vx this is a Vx okay now we need to find again a current source so here we need voltage across this okay current we have current 1 ampere and we need voltage across this to find power across 1 ampere current source okay so we will find this okay so it becomes b 1 ampere is equal to 8 i1 plus 5 i1 minus 8 8 i1 plus vx ok 8 multiply by 5.52 plus minus 12.4 ok 1 ampere this becomes 8 multiplied by 5.52 becomes 44.16 44.16 minus 12.4 V1 ampere becomes 31.7676 okay will be our voltage across this 1 ampere current source now we know that we know that p is equal to vi therefore p 1 ampere is equal to v 31.76 multiplied by i is equal to 1 ampere therefore 31.76 watt becomes 1 ampere current source so in this circuit we find how to find current source so our vax is equal to minus 12.4 volt and p1 ampere is equal to 31.76 watt this is our required solution so thank you for your patience this is a very simple example where we have dependent voltage source and we need to find that dependent voltage and power across one ampere current source thank you for watching